this news just came in five hours ago, mysterious cold object in the outer reaches of our solar system may be the elusive Planet 9 Planet X study claims. Planet 9, what we call Planet X, Nibiru, Wormwood, is a hypothetical super-Earth-sized planet, anywhere from 4 to 10 times the size of Earth, in the outer regions of our solar system. In January 2015, a team of astronomers claimed to have discovered the giant Planet X orbiting the Sun based on mathematical calculations, with some astronomers questioning this data, the, the idea that it exists. The existence of this mysterious Planet 9, or Planet X, hidden in the outer reaches of our solar system, which has long fired imaginations of astronomers, may finally have been proven. Now, the new study claims it has assembled data pertaining to a mysterious object which, although not overwhelming, is worth checking. Matthew Kenworthy tweeted, Wow, Rowan Robinson in a single author paper on a search for Planet 9 in the IRAS data with the candidate IRAS source so expect several people running to their telescopes to confirm the image. File under huge if true. So hailing back to 1983 when a small and cold object was sighted some 20 billion miles from Earth, speculations on Planet X, as it has been dubbed Planet uh, X Nibiru, or, uh, Wormwood, gained renewed interest in 2016, but nothing had ever been directly observed. So in hopes of making a breakthrough, Professor Michael Rowan Robinson from Imperial College London turned to the archives. He was driven by hope that there might be a blip on the old data to substantiate the planet's existence. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. The study analyzed data collected in 1983 by the Infrared Astronomical Satellite IRAS. It operated for 10 months and took a far infrared survey of 96% of the sky. The survey used what has been suggested is the perfect part of the electromagnetic spectrum for finding small, cool objects such as Planet Nine. And now we have a tweet by Mike Brown. Remember Brown and Batigan? They were the ones that originally came and said they, the perturbations of the planets of the outer solar system, perturbations of the Kuiper Belt objects show that there must be something big out there. Well, he was one of the professors. Mike Brown tweets today, fun paper out today on the search for Planet Nine using old IRAS data. Nothing too compelling, but there is one candidate that Rowan Robinson mentions before mostly dismissing it as unlikely to be real. Still, if, if it's fun, it is fun to ponder. What if it is real? This is what his tweet said. So the study used parameters consisting, consistent with the mystery planet and modern computing techniques, allowing the astronomers to determine three potential sources for the elusive planet from June, July, and September of 1983. The revisited data points to the satellite having picked, up, picked out an object moving across the sky in a region of space close to the galactic plane. Now, points from that region are affected by the galactic circus, cirrus, filamentary wispy clouds that glow in far infrared, the findings published in the preprint server XIV, Rowan Robinson admits the tentative probability of the object being Planet 9, which would be 5 to 10 times larger than Earth, orbiting up to 800 times farther from the Sun than our planet. This is amazing. This is just amazing. So he went back and, re and rehashed through the data of 1983, you see. He conceded that what could be Planet Nine could also be just noise from these clouds. The fact that three time points show the movement of the object would potentially allow a calculation of its orbit period around the Sun. 
This data can be used to try to figure out where this object might now be while using other data sources such as the Panoramic Survey Telescope and the Rapid Response System, that's the PanSTARRS Telescope, which was launched in 2008. Dynamical studies are needed to check whether such an object is consistent with the ephemerides of other solar system objects and whether this object can account for the clustering of the orbits of Kuiper Belt dwarf planets, said Rowan Robinson. So this is what the clustering of the Kuiper Belt dwarf planets is probably due because of the gravity of this planet, which is five to ten times bigger than our Earth. It's um, to be found 800 AUs away from us. One AU is 93 million miles. It's the distance between the Sun and Earth. This is amazing. I'm sure we're going to get more information on this. This is by Svetlana Kimenko on Sputnik News. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.